Chris Tensi with richgirlnetwork.tv. I am here at the special screening of AOL, Women in Hollywood. This is such a special night for us because we are richgirlnetwork.tv and we are truly empowering women and continuing the legacy. Makers, which is owned and operated by AOL, is a digital and video storytelling platform. So tonight we will be able to see the screening of how women have made substantial contributions in Hollywood. Stay tuned and follow me on the red carpet. So we are excited to be here, and Women in Hollywood is all about empowering women. What was your motivation behind being a part of this? Well, uh, I started this uh, research institute because I was surprised when I started watching kids entertainment with my daughter, how few female characters there were. And I thought, well, surely by now we should be showing girls and boys, you know, sharing the sandbox equally. So that's how it all started. What is the vision that you want to propel within the next two to three years? You know, I would like to see the percentage of female characters increase, let's say within the next five years, uh, uh, by 10%, 15% even, because uh, I think it's really important for boys and girls to see girls taking up space, doing interesting things, having interesting careers. What strategy would you like to employ in order to have that increase in the next five years? Well, what we do with our research is go directly to the people who are making kids entertainment, the people who are creating the movies and the TV shows for kids, and share our research with them. And uh, they're very surprised by the numbers. They really are shocked at how few female characters there really have been. And so we've already seen movies coming out now that have more female characters because of, uh, because of us. So we're, we're happy to see that uh, things are changing. Thank you so much. I look forward to watching the screening. Appreciate it. Thank you. My name is Rory Kennedy, and I produce two of the maker segments, uh, Women in Hollywood and Women in Politics. How important uh, is it to you to see more women in Hollywood? Like, what is your motivation and passion behind getting this uh, cause made? Well, unfortunately, the numbers are pretty grim in terms of how many women are working really in the creative jobs in Hollywood. In the top 250 grossing films last year, only 6% of them were directed by women. Yeah, so it, it's, it's pretty dire, and I think it's a bit of a wake-up call that we all have to be a little bit more conscious and aware of the role that women play. Obviously, women play a hugely important role in Hollywood. They, the films, when they are able to get behind them, are hugely successful. They do well in the box office. Women go to the theaters. They're the number one consumers of uh, ticket sales. So I think the message is pretty clear that we need to start giving women more of the uh, creative control over these projects. While listening to you speak, I can definitely hear the passion in your voice. And I look forward to seeing your screening this afternoon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, my name is Marty Noxon. Um, I've been a film and television writer for a long time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, I'm, I got my start on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. So very lucky and have had a, you know, very lucky to still be working. So um, what I love about this is that it's celebrating um, a contribution that often gets overlooked in the industry and there needs to be more of it. And the more we can shine a light on, you know, the inequalities and the way that um, we still haven't reached, you know, fair representation. It says, you know, for a myriad of reasons. I don't think it's a conspiracy, but I do think that it's time that that changed, so. So you mentioned that women are overlooked in Hollywood, and that is unfortunate. Where would you like to see women in five years at in Hollywood? If you had the perfect world, where would you like for us to be? Um, I'd love to see more female directors. Um, I would love to see more, um, quote unquote, like masculine uh, projects directed by women, you know, more action. And I think that, like, what's been amazing about the technological um, changes over the last five years is that I think women are going to be the next wave of like genre filmmakers. I started in genre, you know, and that's what it's one of my first loves. And I think it's really strange that women are so often sort of like put into like a category. We do this, but we don't do that. And it's just not true. So 
um, in the next five years, I'd like to see some, you know, women really break that mold. All right, well, thank you so much, and best of luck to you. You too. My name is Linda Goldstein Knowlton. Hi Linda, how are you this evening? I'm good, I'm really good. Uh, so how does it feel to be here this evening to support this great cause of having more women in Hollywood? I got to direct this film, so I'm excited that there are all these people that are out here supporting the idea of growing more and more women behind the scenes uh, making film and television. So since you're the director, can you tell us a little bit about what we can expect when we view this film this evening? Well, it's really a celebration of the amazing achievements that women have been doing for, I don't know, over a hundred years in film and about 50 years in television. And then also showing the gender disparity and how far we still really have to go. In the next five years, I hope we have equal parity with men. We, we represent, we have, we're 51% of the Earth's population, so that, that would be great. I would, I would settle for 35% because we're about 18% now. So I would, uh, anything, anything above 30 would be fantastic, yeah. Well, hopefully that will happen, and it was a pleasure talking with nice you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. I'm on fire. You look fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. So to be here at this powerful event about women in Hollywood, you are an actress. How do you feel about the role of women in Hollywood? You know, I not only am an actress, I'm an actress and a producer, and, and I say that because it's really important that I have a say in the images that we see. Um, I'm also on the board of advisors for the Gina Davis Institute, so, and I have a two-year-old. So this is something that's deeply important to me, that we really manage the context by which we create our young girls and our next generation, so it's very important to me. What is the vision that you hope to see? You mentioned about having young girls and what we hope to see. What is the vision that you would like to see for these young girls in the future? Uh, basically, what the, what the Institute stands for, which is gender parity, gender equality, and to put it in layman's terms, for every little girl to see a vision of herself and think that I can be that, and that there are absolutely no limits, no boundaries to who and what she could be, whether it's a scientist, whether it's a doctor, whether it's a performer, it's a director, that there is not even an inkling that I can't do that. So that's my commitment, that's my stand for my daughter, and that's my stand for boys and girls everywhere. You are so passionate, and I know that with you, change will be affected. Oh, thank you. Thank and thank you so, you so much for the interview. It has been a fun time on the red carpet for the Women in Hollywood event. And it's interesting to be able to watch the screening of this documentary and to see where we as women will be in five years in Hollywood. I'm Tinsley Taylor. Stay tuned on richgardnetwork.tv.